Hi hey guys, so in today's devlog, I just want to work on cleaning up some of the tile sets that we have here for the slope here. It's really making me... I actually created a new grid for this. I was trying to test out how would we be able to create the effect from where the player will be... It's like the player is climbing a ladder or stairs. In Castlevania, they have that kind of uh, effect. Still trying to wrap my mind on how to do that. But for the meantime, this uh, is uh, my progress on creating a slope-like uh, ground from where the player can try to run on. And right now, I'm just trying to clean up those anti-aliases. And I think it's much better if you create multiple grids rather than just having one grid. Uh, for grounds that you might want to be in the level or in the environment. I'm still, to, I'm still trying to figure out how that's going to be done. And right now, I'm just cleaning up some of the... Oops. just want to... I'm pressing control, uh, Shift E for me to easily transfer from this because I've been doing it like I pause and then I go here and then I go here with Jim here. But right now, I'm using that technique from our Shift E and N to transition to the Pencil tool. So just for quicker, I've been doing it manually by pointing my mouse up there for quite some time now. So let me just press N here and then... I was thinking about transitioning to a weekly update but it's really helping me be more consistent uh, me doing some daily small chunks of taskings in this game that's why I was wondering if I'll still keep on doing <laughs> daily logs so at least uh, even if it's just a small chunk of progress we uh, I'm able to keep on doing the or at least having some updates for the game and you would see that we do have some more anti-aliasing here so i think we need to clean those up this is actually on my task board uh, for the project management of this game i would really recommend the complete your project course on Udemy by Chris De Leon. It's really very helpful for building your games and publishing them on time. I really learned a lot from that set of videos or lessons. So, and I also like the suggestion of the YouTube video of Thomas Brush for starting an indie game studio within a year. I've been following some of his advice. Uh, so far, I'm still not yet able to practice all of it, but uh, some of the things that I've been doing for the past few months, so far it's been from January to July right now, and I've been following some of the advice coming from those project management advice that was really able to help me out in trying to plan out my solo dev project here. So I would recommend those resources. Perhaps I'll put a link on the description after this video. So now, and one thing that you can do, if you open this up, uh, and in Unity, one of the things that are quite challenging is when you're creating your tile set. I have a stiff cliff to here. And if you have that specific asset, <clears throat> what happened there uh, you have it here I have a stiff cliff stiff cliff to here if you do so many edits sometimes it will turn into pink or <laughs> it doesn't detect most of those edits so I, I uh, based on my experience I would suggest that you have separate PSD files that you can try to put on the tile palette so that every time that you would want to make some changes for a specific 
part it will not be turning into pink uh, i'm not sure what's that called yet however it's not able to detect the tile sets that has been added so sometimes you might need to readjust and recreate the tile assets but in this case i just want to export this to stiff clip version 2 and that's what i'm going to do here and let's see that it will automatically update that file uh, i think we have stiff clip version where's that version 2 that psd so let's see uh, i think this is the psd file i'm just going to call it psd okay so it detected that so i'm going to export that now and replace that and that should be able to auto generate and you would see it cleaned up the tile map that we currently have here and that's one cool trick if you uh for the workflow if you just want to clean up some of the you can still see some of those style anti aliases so i think we should go up here again i can't see it here so that's a problem so what i'm going to do i'm just going to try to really clean up some of the parts here and i think we'll need to i'm also thinking about adding some some grasses on this area just to make it not look uh, similar to the ones that here are here but if you put some of those you'll have to also try to remove uh, one cool trick let's say for example in your tile map collider you will be able to let me just show you here I think it's better if i show you guys so i think that cleaned up those parts but we still have those parts now and one tendency i've actually been exploring on how to work with the tile map collider for you would see we have some colliders and I have here my grid to here for a slope and you'll see I adjusted the offset so that I can go and try to have those parts but I'm still having an issue with the polygon I use a poly composite collider here uh, geometry type is polygon and I'm actually trying to, if you go to your tile palette, I think these are not going to be affecting. Let's see, if we try to run through this and we create some grasses, I think it will not be affecting the way. That's why you have to really plan out your... I'm thinking I'll just go create some sort of, uh, I think this type of color is going to. And let me just delete some of the anti-aliases also here. Then steal some of those. Then I'm, so perhaps we can just use the same color just for the grass. Because this is going to be a mountain view area. I was thinking we can put some grasses here. And let's have some grasses here. And I think this will not be affected by the tile map collider because we adjusted the. In here, we adjusted the tile map collider offset. So I think we don't have to select individual. Usually what you can do is if ever they are overlapping, we can click on that and then we can turn that to none. But I think we don't need to do that because we do have our tile maps. Our tile map collider currently in an offset. So I think I don't have to do that. So let's have to go and add this and then let's see if the player can 
run on top of it and you'll see we now have that and i think this will not be affecting the player player uh once we try to step on this ground so let me just pause this okay guys so you would see now if i go here let me just pause this then play maximized you would see that we are hitting that there's that collider hitting on that uh tile right on top of it so that's why we're not able to go and play focus again here and that's happening because we have we have that automatically detected by the polygon collider and if we wanted to remove that what we can actually do with the use of tile map here let's select the select an area of the grid then we know that the one that's getting targeted is this uh this part however hmm I'm wondering on whether we should add some more space here uh, because as we can see in our polygon collider it will be it will definitely be affecting let's see we can see that this will be affecting our If I go and try to remove this part, can I adjust that? Uh, tile map. I don't want that. Just don't want that. Uh, there's no adjustments in the tile map collider. That's why I think we'll have to. Hmm. we cannot target it individually and one solution to this would be to actually target this and then go here then just turn that to none and also here you can just say that to be none and this one and if we go back to the slope here now there's no more tiles on those parts right so we can try to also remove this part and here if i go down here now if we go back to the slope now those are parts of the tile map that are not going to be affected i'm just wondering if it's going to be much better if we try to just adjust this uh but let's try to play this let me just pause this okay we're here now so we can you would see now we're able to step on top of it and it looks like the player now has that but what happens if we try to run you see we're, we're still getting stuck there that's a challenge here guys so when you're creating the collider that's where I'm having a difficult time figuring out. You might have some suggestions on how we can try to... I'm also thinking about triggering or just creating some objects here that can be triggered for us to detect some sort of an animation for uh, if we try to look at some Castlevania, Castlevania games, you'll see that they have some sort of a way to make the player walk on ladders or stairs and here i'm just uh, just as a way to at least make it look like the player is running on the slope where we just set up the tile map collider but still trying to figure out how to make this more smoother it's, there's that tendency if you have done what i've just done right now uh we do get to have those background not getting detected by the polygon collider but we still have an issue with uh how it will be detecting the animation for our running 
And I'm still seeing some parts of this. There are still some anti-aliases there. You will see. Right? There's still those anti-aliases. But we're not seeing here. What part is that? Ah, there we go. Get to see some anti-aliases that are affecting the way some parts there we go we have some of those things that we would want to delete and let's just scan through this a little bit more uh, it's still not yet straight so I, I i don't need to do a lot of cleaning up i still need to do a lot of cleaning up and let me just remove those anti-aliases or I can just paint it with same color just to because sometimes when you delete things with Jim, uh those anti aliases are, are parts of your drawing. Those anti aliases are create uh, are created. Still want to adjust some of the looks of our I was thinking we can also look for some inspiration for the grass here. We can put some leaves if we wanted to. But for the meantime, I'll just stick to that. Just wondering if we can also... I'm just going to create a layer here for grass. So that we can have some background grasses here. Then large grasses. I'm just using a mouse right now, so please bear with me. And I think I don't like how that looks, but. We do have a lot of grasses that looks like they have long lives here in the in, here in our country. So I'll just have to adjust that. That should be small. So I have to export that now. And let's see if that will be generating some. Okay, we do have that, and I think that did not affect too much on our collider there still have some of those parts there you see there's still those anti-aliases i think we'll have to adjust those things and there's that animation that i was working on yesterday we do have that and i think it would be a lot better if we can try to have some sort of objects that the player can interact with, right? However, for the meantime, uh, I, I still don't know how to do that. So <laughs> I'll just stick with this for the meantime. Uh, perhaps some background grasses that we can try to work on. So there are some large grasses here in our country that you would commonly find in the mountains if you like trekking. Uh, just recently I went on a trekking trip with my cousins and we saw a lot of mountain areas. I was just thinking, does that look good? <laughs> Uh, but for the meantime, just have some initial background for the grass. Just want to create some large grasses here. It's a good thing that the polygon collider is not detecting everything. Sometimes those grasses. I try to look at 
classes in the Philippines. Images. I'll try to look at some. Okay, so we do have some thin parts of the classes. So perhaps we can use a different color for that. I think we can use this color for some parts. Let's quit this one. <laughs> Just to have some sort of just export that and see how that will look on our tile map now. Okay, so that looks like there's more glasses now there, but they're fixed. <laughs> Uh, we can try to figure out how to have some sort of... I've been seeing some tutorials that involves the glasses moving when players interacts with them. But I still don't know how to implement that. So perhaps we can move that into some future uh, features. Let's just add this. And let's add some more glasses. Large ones. And some ones just to make it look like more like of a mountain if yep. I'm already writing a story for this uh, still can't decide though yet so <laughs> still trying to tap into my creative mind <laughs> uh, that is really really sometimes confused on what to do <laughs> And right now, I think that doesn't look good. I think we should have one large diff here for the glass. And just another one here. Let's have some small leaves parts. So some larger glasses just randomly thinking of lines and another one here Okay, let's try to export that. Let's see how that looks. And that doesn't look good. Why did that happen? Why did that happen? Oh, I think we'll have to... That's because we have already exceeded the length of the... It's currently happening because we did... Our slope here, or I think in the artwork, we did a sprite editor. You would see that that's happening there because of how we slice this. So I think we'll have to. I know I used 32. 532 for this 
sliced and I think we'll see here the problem when I have to save that now there we go there's the problem that I was talking about uh, let's go back here you would see this is still a problem that I usually encounter when I'm trying to work on and if I try to drag this now here see it's going to definitely uh, affect or we can just try to edit this you see we can edit it Ah, yes, we can just edit it. Hmm. I'm just going to delete all of it now. <laughs> just to make... Because we'll definitely encounter some... If I try to drag that here, you'll see. You'll encounter... Problem here is that... This will be affecting our... Once you try to override it, we'll have some... I'm sure they will, will have a problem with there we go that's what I was talking about let's just delete all of this and I'm just going to select all of it I'm going to close the edit button here and let's go drag that here for the meantime just want to have that arranged there set to delete some of those parts here and again we paint some parts uh one two three four i think that's the part that we're missing here we also missing that we have some extra bits here also here there's the problem we have some new parts that we'll have to recreate because or or readjust the i think we'll have to readjust the offset We now have those parts here that we don't want. I think we'll have to... I'll just go... Let's have to delete this again. <laughs> I think we'll have to delete those parts again and then... This is the challenging part really when it comes to the tile sets i still don't know how to you'll see there, there's that part so trying to figure out how that how we can try to work around have a work around with that Now the problem here, you will see, that's going to be a definitely big problem for us. I think I should... Hmm. going to undo all of this <laughs> and bring back the old one
Yes, I do like how this set up. Hmm. I'm going to save this as a different version 3 just so that I can go back to it if I wanted to uh And I'm going to discard all of the changes that I've made here. Will that be affecting? And there we go. That's a problem. Let me just close this for the meantime. And there we go. Uh, I have to restart again. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. Uh, that normally happens if you make a mistake the same way I did just recently so i'll have to restart from there uh do i have the stiff clip version 3 oh no i think that that took out the because i discarded it it totally remove even the stiff leaf version 3 okay so that's a problem okay you would see that those are things that you might encounter uh, i'll have to restart this so for the meantime i think that's it for this video uh, i'll just have to work on this further okay so i think i'll have to restart the what i just did so i think we should really be doing some commits uh i'll just put that back here i think that's how i placed that last time and we'll just be doing some cleaning up and this time i'm going to commit whatever changes i've made so <laughs> uh adjust let me just stop this first and we learn from our mistakes that's <laughs> so now i'll have to go back through the process of uh just go copy this and copy this and then I'm going to merge this to here down this is the same process that I did earlier and I'm going to have a copy I'm just going to group some old this just move all of this inside I'll have a sort of way to go back through all of this And I'm going to hide that now. Okay. Let me save that. Then I'm going just to quick commit that. And 
and we're just going to clean up what I was doing earlier here. Just try to do a speed art for this. Make it bigger. So make it a habit that you go and try to make sure that you commit your changes <laughs> that's a moral lesson uh let's see let's just go export this again and go back to still having those white marks not sure if that's still here we still have those parts Well, the biggest question now is on whether okay we can still adjust this now i think i moved it a little too low and move it a bit up I should just go create another tile map here for the grass. Where's our tile map? Uh, tile map to the object, tile map, rectangular. So this is going to be for grass, slope grass. So at least I won't have to worry about the... <laughs> And I'll have it as a separate tile map. I think we'd have to add tile map glider 2D. Rigid body 2D. to be kinematic composite collider is also composite collider 2d and we need to adjust the uh, scale to 0.5.5 .5. Just to fit our tile map here. Okay. Uh, let's first test this out. So that fix it, but we still need to work on the background grass. Thinking should we just create an object for grasses here? And I think I also need to fix on those parts from the bottom area, right? doesn't look like natural we still have those anti-aliases i think we need to clean those up further but for the meantime that's it for this session 
uh, I was only allotting at least one hour a day for some progress. Still have a lot of other work that I have to look into. So thank you guys and at least you saw how I encounter problems with the tile maps. Uh, it's pretty challenging to figure out how to lay lay out lay it out sometimes. Thank you guys.